Right, making another video about the the Snyder RE17 RMMU timer multifunction. Now, in this case, I'm using it as uh, an anti-cycle timer for a compressor contactor. Now, I did previously make a video, but I think I got it wrong. Right, in. so you've got your feed, your feed from your controller coming in on that cable eight there to terminal fifteen. Right. Now that comes in. Now what I've done, I've put a switch in to be able to break it, so I can I can simulate the uh, the feed coming on and off. Right. So it goes through, goes through on eight, comes out on sixteen, and it's. It then goes on to the coil A2 to feed that. Now what we've also got is coming off of, of cable 8 is we've got a live link going through a normally open contact and then another little link going onto there. So that is the latch bypass. All right. So as soon as we get the, the feed, it goes through the timer which is normally closed and then starts the contactor. The contactor pulls in the the live link bypass latches. It makes and latches the contactor in. That's fine, right? That, so the contactor is now energised and stays on. If it loses its feed, like this, and I switch it back on again, it's now counting down since the contact has stopped. 10 seconds. Now the reason the reason how it knows that the contact has stopped is because I've put a sent um, a cable right from the normally closed crankcase heater terminal at the bottom which just comes off of off of all this um, Just comes off the um, the main the main uh, control fuse. So we've got this link over here coming from here. It's coming onto Y1 of the timer. So so as soon as soon as the contactor de-energizes, power goes onto this cable and tells the timer that we've just stopped contactor no so and then similarly if we now the contact is pulled in at the moment as it would normally be if we broke the neutral and then remade the neutral I've remade the neutral but the timer is counting down for 10 seconds before it brings the contactor on and that is now safe we lose a neutral feed to the contactor circuit and we're still safe we've got no juddering like that if I judder the cable got no juddering yeah which is what can happen which is what the point is so the change that I've found here is that I was using a normally open uh, contact on the on this block here to tell the timer that the contact had started, the contact had started. I actually needed to use the normally closed, so that I told the timer that we'd stopped because it's about stopping. When we stop, we don't want to be able to start for a certain amount of time. Okay, so we get, we also get a delay, but we also get a safety anti-cycle in case there's a bad connection in the circuit like this. And then it remakes but it can't remake for 10 seconds, or in our case, it'll be maybe two minutes. Uh.